All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, and um, I know a lot of people have been mad that Quake Champions doesn't have an SLI profile, and um, I've managed to fix the SLI profile in Quake Champions. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. Sorry, I just like popped into this video real quick. I just wanted to record this very quickly because I have another video to record about Mass Effect. Um, so here we go, guys. This is the stuff that I changed. Um, I'm using the AFR2 debug mode, um, which is just a base set mode that works fucking great for me. So go go to SLI compatibility bits for DX10 and go down to the fucking bottom and switch it to the debug AFR friendly mode. Thank you, whoever made this. A this is my debug. This is my, this game doesn't have SLI. I'm going to try it in debug mode. AFR, thank you, thank you. So switch that real quick in SLI DX10. And then there was something weird. I ch I didn't mean to change that. Don't look at that. I just changed. I was meaning to scroll down. Okay, okay. So here's my SLI stuff. Go ahead and do all these. You don't need to do this top stuff, but the DX10 stuff you do need to do. SLI predefined mode DX10 force AFR2. NVIDIA predefined SLI mode force AFR2. Uh, GPU count 2, GPU count DX10 2. Just do it for the DX9 stuff. That's what I do. If I don't know, I mean, most games are obviously DX10, but sometimes I'll just put on the DX9 one just for shits and fucking giggles. And so come down here, uh, make sure you have SLI rendering mode force AFR2 on the very bottom. So every single setting you see in here, change it to that in the Quake Champions um, profile. Um, but there's a couple more things. I was getting bugs when I uh, forced AFR2 in, uh, with the, um, what's it called, with my debug AFR friendly mode. And then I came down to stereo, uh, hold up. This was set to something else. I forget what it was set to, but just go to the very top one, uh, OX000, the first one, Common Stereo Texture. Enable that guy. Um, is there anything else I changed? Um, here's to my unknown. Uh, so if you scroll down to the very bottom, this OX001, set 2, 2, D, yeah, th I think that comes with the debug mode. But guys, this fixes the SLI in um, Quake Champions. After you're done doing that, spam the supply changes, apply, 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 blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to hop into Quake just to show you guys. Leave a like, leave a dislike if this helped. Um, stick around for the gameplay if you need proof, but it works for me. My face cam is probably gone right now, and this is going to take a little while to load the game. Um, so feel free to fast forward a little bit um, if you want. I do not care. Do what you have to. I watch YouTube videos like the rest of you. If you have to fast forward through a loading screen because Troy wasn't prepared for this video, that's fine. I don't care. That's just fine. Um, but yeah, um, don't worry about this menu SLI scaling that you see on the top. But, I mean, if you are noticing anything, notice that they are scaled. 8, 9%, 11, 10% kind of deal like that. Um, this SLI fix is great with V-Sync on. It just runs straight 4K60, ultra, ultra everything. Um, but I will show you with VSync off too, so you guys can see the type of frame rates I'm getting with two GTX 1070s. Um, I'm I disabled my MSI overclock. I'm not using Afterburn anymore because I was getting weird glitches. Um, but I am back to the MSI gaming app, and it just kind of overclocks it to whatever you need. Um, I'm so mad that this is taking forever to load. Hopefully, you guys are listening to me ramble through this. If you are, thank you very much. Leave a comment if you guys want me to do more SLI fixes. Uh, this only took me about 30 to 40 minutes of messing around in profiles. If you guys have a game that you are playing um, and it doesn't feature SLI, let me know. Um, if I have it, I will fix it. If I don't have it, I will attempt to get it if it's cheap um, and try and fix it. Why I have no idea why this is taking so long to load right now, guys. Here we go. Fucking finally. Finally. I do have VSync on right now, so don't worry about the menu scaling that you see up there. I mean, it is 36, 38, 38. That's perfect scaling, even in a menu. Um, if you're if you're used to Quake Champions and you have two graphics cards, you're used to seeing like 0% on your bottom right now. So, yeah. I know this takes so long to load the goddamn game. And then I have to go accept. But yeah, look up here. 
perfect scaling. They're sitting at what they need to, 1936. It's not going to overclock it any more than it needs to. Um, but yeah, so once we're Never here, give up. yeah, it's scaled. Right now it's in kind of 45 frames, but let me hop into the game. I'll just do a custom. Yeah, create match. Okay, everything's cool. Start match. Um, yeah, but you see that? How they're both sitting at, like, the exact same usage on the GPU. Oh, I gotta connect to a server. I'm closest to Oregon. Start match. Here we go. Let you guys see my SLI fix in action. At 4K, ultra settings, 60 FPS, I will show you the ultra settings. It's fully maxed. Maxed out. So I did call Bethesda about this. I haven't emailed them yet. Um, I'm actually at the point of me recording this right now. I don't even know if I'm going to record this video or if I'm going to wait for a reply from Bethesda or Zenimax or whoever wants to call me back. Um, see if they just want this fix. Because um, it, I mean, they could go on optimizing their game without a bunch of NVIDIA help if this fix helps them. All right, here we go. We're back. 74, 70% on the GPU usage. We are BJ Blazkowicz from Wolfenstein. Not even a graphical glitch. I don't on see your it. Feet, old man. You guys see this? Look at the scaling. 68, 68, 70, 70. It's perfect between both of them. It's locked at 60 frames at fucking ultra settings. Yeah, it's so awesome. I'm, I was so happy that I fixed this. Um, let me get the rocket launcher so I can have some fun. Oh wait, this is the rocket launcher, rocket launcher, over there. Okay, but real quick, um, settings, just so you guys know that we're fully maxed out. Uh, video, ultra, we're just in the ultra quality preset. I can't turn anything up besides resolution scale. I could theoretically turn that up. Um, but yeah, we're maxed out um, with this with this uh, V-Sync on. 70% um, usage on both. SLI working perfectly. Um, so follow all those steps that I gave you. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with uh, V-Sync off so you guys no can team. see. Um, you might see some screen tearing here, so I apologize Round for screen tearing. I really don't like screen tearing, but three, um, two, one, you guys can see how far hard. it'll really push it with V-Sync off. It's not a perfect 100% usage, but we're pushing above 60 frames. It's about 80% usage on both. Um, it works. It works great for me. I, I my rig is two GTX 1070s uh, from MSI, the Gaming X Edition. Um, Intel 6700K. Uh, I turned off my overclock. We're back to four gigahertz on that bitch. Um, 32 gigs of RAM from the next year. But yeah, if this if this fix helped you guys, uh, it works for you guys. Please, please, please leave a like. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what the hell's up. Um, yeah, besides that, my name is Troy Harrison Chris. I'm out of here. I hope you guys could uh, hear all of this through the Doom gameplay, but I didn't change the audio or anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out. Um, yeah, peace. Okay. Peace.